Andrea, that's Alejo, and those are our pairs, Ozzy and Echo. We left the corporate world in Miami to become digital nomads and chase the wind kiteboarding. Join us as we sail an adventure in our dream home, Hakuna. And we have been traveling for the past three years full time. Uh, we have lived in a travel trailer with our dogs. We have rented several houses throughout different countries with our dogs. And now we live in our sailboat, Hakuna. So yeah. the question is, how can we afford what we're doing? So Long story short. So we're not millionaires. Our parents don't pay for our things. Definitely not. We're just entrepreneurs. We're digital nomads. Yep. And so yeah, we're just gonna go over how we can afford this lifestyle. Cool. All right. So first, Andrea, so, go express yourself. Go. First, and I think this is the most important of them all, is how we manage our expenses, and that's that we don't spend any on any. We don't spend any money on the things that we don't find value on, and the things that don't bring us happiness. So for us, eating out and going out to eat to other places, it's not that important. So we never really go out. We always, you know, cook in the on the boat or in our travel trailer, wherever we live. We don't really go out. Uh, we don't buy. We don't go shopping unless we really like all our clothes are already like ripped and stuff. Or we need, <laughs> we, or we need clothes or we need something. We don't go shopping. We don't buy any clothes. Um, we definitely don't care about brands or what brands, you know. Um, we're wearing or any of that stuff we could care less and we obviously don't have any car leases or anything like that so I think that makes a huge difference on the way we're able to live like this because it's kind of setting your priorities we'd rather be traveling and living in Dominican Republic kiting every single day rather than carrying a Louis Vuitton handbag which I don't even know how to say so, right <laughs> our income it doesn't depend on the location or where we are. Uh, three years ago, we started our own company, our own uh, online company called Zipa. That's how we get our income. It hasn't always been easy, right? So we have lost money. We have been in debt. Been in debt. And there are some times that, I mean, we have like really, really big struggles, but I mean, we just gotta push through it and yeah, and, and we have learned a lot. And, yeah, we learned a lot. And from, the reason why we did it was because um, we just we dreamed of having this life. We dreamed of being free to do what we wanted, and that's really why we started Zipa. And that's really you know why we pushed so hard during those moments of struggling and during the hard situations. And you know now now we're here. So, so. the second income that we have. So as we mentioned. Um, we have gone through some really tough times. It has not been easy at all. So during one month of the year, we have we we do work during the year as independent health insurance agents. Our house. So, so our house doesn't give us any profit. It's just an asset, and it's very special to us because we put all our savings into it. And yeah, I mean, right now we have it rented. We do a one-year rent. Uh, what's it called? A like lease. That's it, that's our house. So that although it doesn't leave us any money, it's still like, it's an asset that we have that it continues to gain value. And it may sound like a big goal to own both a house and a sailboat. Um, we didn't want to sell our house because to us it's, you know, like we said, it's something it's very special. We put a lot of hard work into it. So we didn't want to sell it at the time of buying the boat. Um, but we do think it's possible. Again, it's just a matter of setting goals, setting, setting priorities and just working hard and just setting your goals and knowing that you can achieve them if you really work towards them and if you're disciplined and work towards um, having them, right? Yeah. Plan ahead. Yeah. Plan you always got to plan ahead, see what, what you're going to, what's your next move. Exactly. Okay, so our next point is going to be YouTube. So a lot of you guys think that we actually live off YouTube and we don't. We don't make any significant money from YouTube. So it's just not feasible to leave off YouTube right now. Uh, we do YouTube because we enjoy sharing our lifestyle. We really like it because at some point um, when we n knew nothing about van life, when we knew nothing about sailing, uh, that's how we learned. So YouTube is like that free source of education, which we find really awesome. And we just do it because we want to give back to the community that we have gained so much from. So yeah. we find it just really cool too. Also YouTube, it's, it's a lot of hard work. As you may know, Andrea, does all the editing on the videos it takes her days to do just one video so yeah I mean but right now we still make no money off YouTube and we're not living off YouTube so yeah yeah we that. made like I don't know 100 200 bucks nothing big so we make 200 bucks <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> people but keep watching. That we can Don't skip the ads. <laughs> don't skip the ads. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we don't make any any real money from YouTube, so we can't live off YouTube. We make two hundred dollars. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. And last but not least, we have the partnership that I have with F1 America, and it's not an income. It's definitely nothing significant, but um, kiteboarding is super important for us. We change, we upgrade our gear every single year, and the cost of gear can definitely add up. And partnership that I have I used F1 before I was an ambassador for them I absolutely love the brand and that's why I became an ambassador for them and it saves us a couple of bucks a couple of thousand dollars every year and yeah it's just we love it and it's also something that we can account for that it may be something you know it saves us money, it saves us money exactly so if you guys uh, also left your 9 to 5 jobs, if you also live, if you like us, you live an alternative lifestyle, share with us in the comments below how you can afford your lifestyle, what you do to make a living. And yeah, we would love to have more ideas for everyone that's trying to, you know, uh, have this, this, this lifestyle, right? So just add it in the comments below and and if you have any questions, if you want to let us know what videos we want, we should be making in the future, let us know and we would love to uh, make sure. it in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah. If you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and leave us any comments that you guys have any questions, <laughs> any like future videos you want to see, put and in the comments it. below and hit up, what, where? The bell button, hit the oh. bell button. Oh, the bell button. <laughs> <laughs> Okay.